Hello guys, welcome to another edition of Rage Against the Dice. Today, we've got a pretty special one. Do you want to tell them what it is, Nate? It's Oak and Iron. It's Oak and Iron. We've been waiting a fair old bit for this. Um, well, since before playtesting days. Mm -hmm. It was playtesting days, because we're smug. Um, yeah, this is the Kickstarter core set. It which is. Which is now up for pre-order. Yep. We should link that in the description. We should. We should. Um, you can. I will. Let's bust this bad boy open. This is by Firelock Games. They also do what game name? They do Blood and Plunder. They do Blood and Plunder. We're fans of Blood and Plunder. I've heard good things. Ships and whatnot. Oh, before, this is what we got, we're going to be getting. So, it's cost a core box. You do get everything you need to play. Um, ship cards. Yeah, I'm brandishing a knife because it's pirates. Uh, Makes sense. You upgrade cards, dice, enough ships to get playing. Yeah, movement markers, tokens, and your rulers. That is enough that ships to get played, but it's not all the ships that you can get. This is true. So I just wanted to let people know that there's lots more ships, because yeah. ships. So let's... As you can see, this is the first time it's been opened. Indeed. Indeed. It's like the birthing of a child, but without the mess and the crying. That's placenta. Well, yeah. So... Here we go. What do we get? Hopefully stuff. Oh, it's a good box. It's a good quality box. See, anyone who watches the channel knows that is really important to me as well. Like, it's a joke, but I really do like a good quality gaming box. <laughs> so, we've got the rules, which weigh in at about 29 pages in total. It's not bad. So, it's plenty of... Uh, you know, everything's got nice examples in it. I mean, it is going to be a game that we cover quite heavily on the channel. Um, oh, yeah. How to play is, etc. I think we should even teach Alan this one because pirates. Sure. It's not just pirates, but there are pirates. Don't mind me. There are pirates, right? <laughs> hey, look, I know that guy. Don't mind me. Do, do, do. There's a guy in here, we know. I'm just going to hold this here. Yeah. <laughs> a random guy? A, a random guy, yeah. Oh, wait. Here's some more. In the playtester section. Hey, I know those guys. Hey, I do know that guy. That's Liam. The Liam. <laughs> That's the Liam. The Liam. Look, he's right there. He's on top of the Kev. Ha, <laughs> That's how he likes... Wait, what? Damn right I am. <laughs> oh, no. Anyway, let's get back to this. This is serious unboxing. We're serious unboxing type people. This is yep. YouTube where things are serious. Hey, so we've got some... Oh, nice. Um, what you call it? Uh, discount, Gaming mats. Discount code for Table War. Ooh. Which are very nice mats. Unfortunately, they're on the wrong side of the world. Uh, how wrong side of the world? Like America wrong side or Australia wrong side? That's in America wrong side. That's not as bad. Australia wrong side is the worst. Because it's going to take you six years to get there and we're going to charge you all the monies in the world. Mm. Whereas America is just half the monies in the world. But they're usually cheap anyway when you first purchase. Right, so we've got some absolutely rammed cardstock. Oh, look at that. Look at the thickness of this cardstock. That's it. You know, again, it is important to me. We've got, um, so we've got our reload, reload markers, which come in form of like smoke clouds from the cannons. Wake markers for when you've moved. Various counters for you know, various things that we'll see in-game. We used dice when we played it. Didn't seem as cool. Shoals! Oh, my, oh, look at that. Fog. Epic fog. That's pretty cool. And the island on the back as well. Oh, oh, do oh look. That's how well cut out that is. <laughs> yeah. No ripping the card on this one. And oh, it, that is nice. Actually. That's that's gorgeous. It's look, uh, it's hand painted. That oh that's quality stuff. Do we know it. how much this is going to be retailing for now? It's up for pre-order. Oh, uh, they'll be there on the pre-order. Um, I honestly don't know. I honestly don't either, but I will put it on the screen once I've googled it to check. Yes, I think it's only in dollars at the moment. But... Yes. Uh, also, I, I I don't I don't know because. My wife might watch this. <laughs> oh, yeah, there is. Yeah, oh, no, it's dirt cheap, dirt cheap. Uh, oh, look, look. It's, so, yeah, here's islands. They just pop. They, now that, I'm, I may be fanboy in here a bit, but I'm loving this because 
I hate punching out cardboard stuff usually. The amount when of times you got, I've damaged cards. Yeah, when you get the torn edge. Yes. It's that, it's that the Pritt stick and sadness. Always with the sadness. Great. <gasps> banners. Yep. Flags and banners. Oh, lots of them as well. Lots and lots of flags and banners. So. This looks like it's. Oh, how many ships do you get in this again? Six. So it looks like there's potentially enough to do all of them and maybe a couple of little extras. Mm. Well, there are expansions coming out. There like, are. Oh. So if you don't want to buy a map from the other side of the world, you get. This is making for excellent video because. That is huge. CB3? Uh, yeah, CB3. 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 Oh, that's lovely. The detail's exquisite. Mm. Right. This is like a fanboy's dream. <laughs> but we're coming up to the bits that I am hugely fanboying over from when I first saw the one. Did you paint one of them? Or did you paint more than I one? I painted three. I've got a frigate, a flute, <clears throat> and a galleon painted. Have I only seen the frigate? Was the... I'm sure you've seen them all. I may have done. I get distracted easily. I mean, and there's you know, the brain damage. The, the brain damage is real. So, we've got a cool plastic tray. Keep all our cards in. Indeed, indeed. We all love plastic trays. Plastic trays? Yeah, cut cards. Uh, they are cards. Um, we'll get to ah! cards. Ah! <laughs> in my excitement, I have smashed things. We'll get to those. It looks like a block of soap. Those <laughs> are the bases. Oh, that's so much better than a block of soap. I just thought, nerd soap, it seemed like a perfect thing. Great. We have our ships. Which are, are they plastic, resin? Plastic. Plastic. And um, push fit. But those are, wow, that's a nice, that is nice plastic as, actually, yeah, as well. Ah, words. Good thing about them, for those who do not like painting, they are virtually usable. All you need yeah. to do is stick some flags on, if only they came in the box. Guess what? They, they do. do. Oh, look at that. No, 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 yeah. no, 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 it's for yeah, it's upside down. Right, so it's nice, it's nice snug fit. So you can just, you know, just, just plug. Right, and there we go. And I'm guessing from the plugs on the bottom, they also plug into the base as well. Yep. Because the base is perspex. Yep. And I hate gluing on perspex. Because it's awful. Yeah, and it, it leaves that shadow. Or, if you get a pin it, it cracks. So this is done for you. Yep, so, got the base, which has your, your direction markers. It has all your, all your markers you need for in-game. Your movement will not, and then you just push that bad boy on there. And look at that. That is nice. Now, I'm guessing we're going to see a couple of videos of these getting painted. Oh, if you insist. Names. Well, I don't want to push you to do it, but do it. <laughs> and uh, look at that, so you get, you get the best of both worlds. You can see the nice sexy mat underneath, but also clearly marks out. Yes. Because you know how we nerds love to fight over angles. And... Oh, I've never built, built a sloop before. Wait, let's put the sloop on space. So everything comes on the same size base, doesn't it? Yeah. So it's a lot easier. So for people, they don't have to match anything up. Yeah, so that just plugs in That's there. That's adorable. That plugs in there. And, uh, ah, we got a Costa Cup in. It's like Game of Thrones all over again. Does that mean Gallon has to die? <laughs> well, that was what we planned for this afternoon. Well, right. Don't um, worry, Alan, it's fine. It's fine. That plugs in. You just come and cuddle your brother, boyfriend, uncle, whatever he is. Yeah. While your dragon watches or something. I don't know. <laughs> ah, there it is. When I, when, I, when I get enough smart, I can work it out. <laughs> so Usually he's blessed with the smart, but today he's too excited for the smart. I'm too excited for the smart. So that plugs into the bowsprit there. 
But would if my you wouldn't think I was actually quite dexterous normally, wouldn't you? You need my tiny little girl hands or baby hands. I'm not sure what's politically correct to say these days. Right. Imp hands. Right. So that plugs into there. Yeah. And then that one goes into there. So this would be the disadvantage of the snug fit. <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. It is snug fit, and um, just because I'm rushing, I'm not yes. sat on the table. But and look, so that comes straight back out. Ta-da! And you can break it back down to pack it back away again. Yeah. So. Are you going to do that once they're painted, though, or will you be keeping them up? We'll see. You have your display shelf anyway, don't you? We'll, so. s we'll see, because, um, I mean, this sort of thing would lend itself well to pluck foam. True. This so, true. I mean, yeah. comparing comparing these to another um, small-scale nautical game which has come out recently. Inferior again. Um, uh, but, yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it, uh... These, the plastic, I'm not afraid of breaking those. Yes, whereas, whereas the sails on the other ones apparently snap quite easily. Oh, they And these ones, <clears throat> you get nice plastic sails rather than like stickers. Yes. Which, meh. Now, are all the ships going to be plastic or is it just the starter set that's plastic? Uh, they're all plastic. That's perfect. The, all the ships that are out are plastic. Brilliant. Wait, let's move on. Let's move on to okay. the rocks. We got ma we got magic math rocks that make click clack sounds. I can't get to them. <laughs> oh, I missed. <laughs> right. So we've got custom D8s. Indeed, it's quite the thing these days. But uh, again, uh, that's a critical. Um, but you've got you have musket range, pistol range. Um, that's kind of your melee one, cannon or gun range, and sails. So, it it all makes sense when you're actually playing the game. What the dice do, and right, it is, and we will cover that. It is really intuitive. When um, actually playing with Mike uh, in Northern Ireland, well, yes, I win. Um, dude, nothing, nothing but superior seamanship. It wasn't some really lucky rolls. Um, no one's going to believe you got lucky rolls, so we... we well, I was playing it. against Mike, so like we cancelled each other out. Ah. Like when you and I game. Yeah. And it, yeah. So, ah, oh, they make such a nice sound. Yay! Um, it, it may, you know, it's, it's nice, you know, it's... When you're actually playing with the proper dice rather than going, what's an eight main again? Yes. You know, <laughs> it just ma it makes it yeah, really it quick. Um, like I said, the, D8, the custom D8s has become a bit of a thing. Um, but yeah, check in the chart to see what well, does a 6 do, well, etc. It's on your range ruler for if you're shooting. Um, if you're at this range, those are the ones that hit. Okay, that's pretty clever. I'll give them that. Okay. Yeah. So Some smart people things. We have all of the cards. I still have a knife. He still has a knife. That's not a threat. <laughs> yeah. It's a statement of fact. So what we get... Go from the side. You've got... Um, your different... The way you set up the game. You've got your different <laughs> deployment cards. Ah, uh, so your deployments aren't in the rule book. They're on a separate card. Yeah. Cool. So, because um, you you draw and you you pick kind of um, where you're going to deploy. Ah, right. I get you. Missions. Again, so, not in the rule book, which keeps the rule book down, um, and obviously fits in with how the game plays. But also allows you to um, have it there at a um, at a glance. At a glance, yeah. Yeah. So what am I doing again? Uh, so um, no more fingering page 8 and fingering page 26 at the yeah. same time because you need both pages. <coughs> your, your terrain. No. So you can you can pick what kind of terrain you're going to play on. Then you've got our upgrades. Different captains, different types of crews. 
Some are um, like a faction specific, so only you know, only the English, the French, and like the Brethren of the Coast pirates yes. can have uh, buccaneers. Those I picked one that's easy to pronounce. Nice, I like so. Different, yeah, yeah. Different things, points costs. So you can, you're not just stuck to your one stock standard chip. Yes. So, again, those are, those are nice cards. They slide nice. Nice, nice artwork on the back too. Perfect. And we have another deck of cards. In fact, we have two more decks cards. One's a tiny deck though. I like to imagine that's the same as these decks, but just for people with my hand size. Yeah, so everything looks normal? Yes. I mean, these had to be oversized tarot cards just so they look normal <clears throat> with my hands. Ah, uh, that would explain a lot. Right, so, weather cards. Um, your faction cards. So every faction, you get a little bit of history on one yep. side. And then you've got... Um, your actual kind of, rules. Yeah, your, your special rules on your side. You, then you've got your signal cards, which will become very important when you play. This is kind of your tactics. Cool. Um, again, these some of these are um, faction-specific. As is clearly evident from the first card we looked at. Yeah. And some are generic. Yes. Nice. And then we've got... Our admirals. Oh, oh. have you heard that? Okay. Oh, oh. Have you heard the either of these guys? They sound quite familiar. Hmm. The internet may have heard of them. The, the internet may have heard of them. Players of uh, Blood and Plunder will have heard of some of these guys. Th doesn't he have a drinking name? Like a cider or something? Morgan. Morgan. I'm an apple juice kind of guy, so I wouldn't know. Yeah. But I bet the internet could tell us. Yeah, yeah. Leave in the comments below. Right, so got more and more and sexy cards. And last but not least Baby cards. Baby cards. Now what do baby cards do within That's... the context of this game? In this game they are to make your hands up big. Oh nice. <laughs> Mike singing of things. Just for me. These are Events cards. Oh. So, basically, when um, yeah, uh, you have cards of the same initiative, you flip an event as well. Ah. So, you know, funny things, wind changes. You know, so the, you can have basically it's an easy way of um, including your different like kind of uh, weather conditions and things. A nice. Mechanic without bogging the game down yes. with rules, because all the way through the, the design process, it was a case of, right, let's make a game that really does represent sailing, without burying it under rules. Yes, and then some rules. So it's for mm. anyone to play. You know, you don't have to be a um, have a doctorate in maritime history. You can just go. I, I want to push the little boats around the table. Could Alan play it? Well, I played Kev. But Alan. <laughs> easily. Uh, I'm moving it, on. <laughs> if I can play it, easily Alan can play it. Uh, <laughs> not sure about that. I believe in you, Alan. Let's add yeah, a disclaimer well. at the bottom of this that Alan is a unique case. And last but not least, we have our ship cards. Ooh. They didn't look like that when I played it. They, they did ish. Yeah. They did ish. It looks well, just more like that. They were printed out. Yeah. If you squinted and you were on a galloping horse, they fine. certainly weren't as glossy as this. So there we go. There's the different ships you get in the. Um... Oh, that's, oh, that's nice. Snoop. So you've got your different ships that you get in here, with. You can either sleeve them. Or you come come up with these little do do that. That explains what they are. I was curious, but I didn't want to ask. So you can, um, if you're not the sort that likes to dry wipe, 
I'm a dry wipe kind of guy, I have to admit. But they are cool. They are cool. So, you've got those. Um, places to mark on your, um, any upgrades. All your special rules are there on the card. Hey, that is something you like. Mm-hmm. You love it when everything's in one place. Mm. Same for your upgrades. So, you buy an upgrade, you need to know what that upgrade does. Tight. So, there you go. Um, that that's that's Oak and Iron. I am absolutely d- delighted by this. I'm I'm so so pleased to have been, like had the opportunity to work on this because it's like it's, it's here. It's, it's awesome. Yes, I mean this is. I mean, like um, myself, we like these type of games already. Mm-hmm. You and I um, like sh- fleet battle games. Drop fleet being a big one for yeah. us. Um, but obviously, the setting as well is definitely your kind of thing. Oh yes, um, you you like pirates and the like. I likes me the Age of Sail. He does like mm. the Age of Sail. Hence, Blood and Plunder. Mm. I'm assuming, because you introduced it to me, I'm assuming you introduced it to all. Yeah. Not like everyone in the world. No, no, I'd be I'd be very good at marketing if I was... You, you told me you did. <laughs> Sometimes he embellishes. I say a lot of things. Like, you know, when I say I loved you and things. Oh. But he does mean that. Okay. He totally does not <laughs> But yes, so yay! Yeah, this was a little less planned than we normally do because it was more our need to open it. It's, but we are going to do videos on how to play the game, um, some actual games of it being played and such. Ooh. You don't know this, but a token just hit me right in the dong. <laughs> but don't, I, I'm just going to read the play. Don't mind me. Nate's starting to set up a game already, so I'm going <laughs> to tell the internet where they can find this. Look in our description below because I don't know where to find this. <laughs> and you can pre order it. Yeah. Um have we got a release date for that pre order yet? Um the boxes are on a ship currently travelling across the Atlantic. Ah so kind of fitting. I don't know if that's just the Kickstarter ones or whether there's gotta be pre order ones in with that. Um I'm but... assuming there's some information on the website that'll tell you this. Yeah. Um and then, obviously, if you don't go in for the pre-order for some weird reason, it will start appearing in yeah, your local stockists and things like that. Yeah, it's, it's not going to be some obscure relic that you're only going no, to be no, able to find on Firelock's website. Because you can buy Blood and Plunder other places also. Yeah, so it's a, it's a proper brick-and-mortar game. Tight. Um, yeah, like I said, it is going to be one we cover on the channel. If anybody who backed the Kickstarter also watched this, let us know in the comments. It's always good to hear a fellow nautical person, Enos. It is, it is. But yeah, um, give it a like, give it a share, check out all the links in the description. Subscribe so you can watch some of our other content on this. It's going to be a lot more shippy and a lot less pokey outy cardy. Um, yeah, do people want I to say... I promise nothing. He promises nothing. Do people want to say goodbye to the internet? Bye, internet. Bye, Bye. internet. Can I just say again, thank yes. you. Thank you to Firelock Games. We should have started with that, really. Yeah, but we'll finish with this. <coughs> Maybe there'll be a graphic at the start of the Don't video. remember now. Yes. That, that, that's why I didn't know. I like your style. Yeah, I see. Then we can ask them. We can be like, did you get our thank you? And if they didn't, they didn't watch the video. And then we're going to do a scathing video where we blow up their ships. While rolling I, dice. <laughs> dude, I think that's the game. Oh. I've been missold. Anyway, guys, take care. Fight the dice gods. Hope they smile upon you. Bye.